My name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director of Proud of Goldman and Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues. Please subscribe to our channel. You know, just because one person has custody and the other person does not, doesn't necessarily mean that that being established, there won't be problems. Even if that is established and the court's ordered it and it's done, there can still be an interference by one person to the other. There can be a custodial interference with the custodial parent interfering with the uh, parenting time of the other parent. How does that happen? Well, I'll, I'll give you an example. Let's say a wife has the child uh, during the week. Dad has alternating weekends. But the ex-wife decides to schedule a lot of fun things on Dad's weekend, thereby interfering with his uh, parenting time. Or worse, let's say there are uh, half-siblings. So wife gets married. Uh, after the divorce, she has two other kids. Now we have a blended family. She decides to take the kids to Cedar Point exactly on the day when one child is supposed to go with dad, dad's kid. So dad's kid is left out. And what does the mom say? <clears throat> well, we, I'm sorry, we wish we could take you, but today's your, this is your weekend with your dad. You see, that kind of horrible interference is really treacherous. And it really shows that the other person doesn't care about anybody involved, not the kid, not the other parent, no, no nothing. And, and when you have that, it's very difficult. It should be brought to the attention of the court immediately. Don't think for a minute that if you're the victim of that, <clears throat> that if your ex is scheduling things to go on when your kid is supposed to be with you, thereby creating your environment to be a, a lousy one, whereas the other one is a better environment, don't think for a minute that if you let that go, that somehow that will inure to your benefit. Somehow the other side will see that you're working with them and therefore you're a good guy. That's not how it's going to be perceived. It's going to be perceived as weakness and it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Pretty soon she'll be saying, oh, uh, I know it's your weekend, but uh, my mother's coming to visit. Can't we forgo your weekend? We'll swap it sometime later. That kind of thing. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. Don't let that happen. If that's going on, alert your attorney, let him or her file the appropriate motion, and the court will take their piece out of the other person for doing that. Because shame on them. But if you let it go, it'll just be perceived as weakness, and it'll always get worse. If you have any questions about that, reach out, and we'll be glad to help you out.